let's do our ground. Select the ground, right click, assign new material. I'll just do Lambert again. I'm going to call this our ground color. Let's click on our ground, make it a green. Maybe tone it down a little bit. Except I'm gonna select on our click on our lake, right click, assign new material. Let's do blend because the lake's kind of shiny. Call this lake color. And let's make it a blue. Maybe not so blue. There we go, something like that. Okay, now if you look over here in the attributes for the blend, uh, down here you'll see a reflect reflectivity. The higher that number is, the more it's going to be like a mirror. So one is completely reflective, like a mirror, and then zero is not reflective at all. So I'm going to make this lake probably about 0.1, I guess. So we don't really want it like a mirror. Now, if you want to, you could bump it up. Uh, let's do our fence. Select part of the fence, right click, assign new material. I'm going to do a blend because the fence is kind of shiny and blend material's shiny. Let's name this fence color. I'm going to make it white and just kind of tone the white down just a little bit. Except. Now I'm going to select every part of our fence. Right click on the fence, add existing material, and look for the fence color. Alright, it's looking pretty good. Maybe our road, right click, assign new material, Lambert. Maybe give it a dark color, maybe a really dark color. Could lighten it up a little bit. Maybe something like that, except maybe the uh, walkways. You can select them all or just one. If you select them all, you can right click, assign new material. I think it depends on what version of my you have. Um, assign new material, Lambert. I'm going to call this sidewalk color. Maybe a light gray. Kind of a pretty light gray color. Except. Maybe our door is the same color as a roof. Assign existing material, and we'll just use roof color. So there's our door. You could create little window frames around these if you wanted to. Let's see. That's probably pretty good. What else do we want? Let's do this. Here's something we could do. Select one part of each tree. Then press the up arrow key. It selects the, all the groups. Let's go to a top view. I'm going to turn on smooth shade and I'll turn on wireframe on shaded. Zoom out here. Control D to duplicate all those trees, all those groups. And I'm going to move those trees to the other side of our lake. Control D to duplicate. Control D, duplicate again. Control D, maybe I'll pull these to the other side. Duplicate again. Maybe one more time. Alright, let's go back to our perspective view. And now we've got trees on the other side of our lake. Look at there. I'll turn my channel box off so we can see a little better. Let's go ahead and turn off our wireframe. So I'm going to turn the wireframe on shaded. Just turn that off. And there's our uh, scene. So not bad.
We've got a nice little house there, and we got a lake and some trees. We could even lower this lake down a little more so it's not sticking up as much. And there you go. So be creative. Use these uh, primitive shapes and show us what you can create. And that concludes this tutorial. And don't forget to save your work. So let's do a file, save scene as. I'm going to name this one as having fun underscore two. So as you do some more work, you can do it as underscore three and so forth. And it's really important that you do that because if your file gets corrupted or something, you can always go back to a previous version of your project and you won't have to start all over from scratch. So thanks for watching.